Before talking about using ARP tables for passive scanning, let's talk a little bit about ARP protocol and mechanism first. So, Address Resolution Protocol, ARP, is a network layer protocol used for mapping a network address such as an IPv4 address to a physical address such as a MAC address. To simulate how the ARP mechanism works, we have a small network in the slide, a switch on top, and three computers connected to it. Computer A wants to talk to computer C. It puts an ARP request onto the wire, which happens to be broadcast. Essentially what it's saying is, who has computer C's MAC address? Of course, because it's a broadcast, every system on the network hears it. Does everybody respond? Well, what happens is that B hears that A is looking for the MAC address of computer C. B knows that it's not computer C and therefore does not respond to the broadcast. The broadcast, the ARP request, goes out to every system, but the only system that will reply is computer C with an ARP reply. In other words, computer A says, who has the MAC address of computer C? And although all the workstations hear the question, only C replies and says, I've got the MAC address of computer C, and this is what it is. So the ARP reply sends back the MAC address to computer A, and each of these machines start building an ARP table. So what is the ARP table? Since computers cannot send broadcast messages every time they need to connect with another network device, they store the IP addresses and the corresponding MAC addresses of systems they frequently communicate with in a table called ARP table. All the systems in the LAN maintain this table. The entries in the ARP cache table are generally short-lived and are updated every 15 to 20 minutes. Now let's get back to our topic. Can we say that one of the passive scan methods is just looking into the ARP table of a system, which is a network that we are scanning? Well, sure we can. Inside an ARP table, we see the IP addresses of some of the systems of the network and their corresponding MAC addresses. Let's see the ARP tables in three different platforms, Mac OS, Windows, and Debian Linux. We are in a Mac OS operating system first. Open the terminal first. Type terminal in the search box of the applications window, which brings you the terminal application. Typing ARP and hitting enter shows a small help for ARP command. If you want to see detailed help about the ARP command, you can use MAN command. Type MAN, ARP, and hit enter. You'll get detailed help. A parameter is used to display all current ARP table entries. But hold on. It says A is used to delete all entries as well. How can that be? Well, to delete an ARP table entry, you use D parameter. If you use this parameter with A parameter, you are able to delete all entries of ARP tables. I parameter is used to see the entries of a single interface. By default, ARP command tries to show the display addresses symbolically. To see the IP addresses instead of display names of the systems, you have to use N parameter, which means do not resolve names. Okay, press Q to quit the man page of the ARP command. Now type ARP-AN to see all the entries of the ARP table. Since Mac OS is a BSD-based operating system, the results of the ARP command is displayed in BSD style. Second machine is a Microsoft Windows 8. Let's open a command prompt first. I have a shortcut on my status bar, so I click it to start a command prompt. Alternatively, press Windows plus R buttons, open the dialog box, run Command, and hit Enter. If you type ARP in a Windows system, the Help page of ARP command is displayed. Type ARP-A to see the entries of the ARP table. In my opinion, this display is more, I don't know, human-readable than BSD style. Now, although we're not interested in these at the moment, I would like to talk a little about the IP addresses that start with 224 to calm your curiosity. 224.0.0.22 is the multicast address for Internet Group Management Protocol. 
224.0.0.252 is used by recent versions of Windows for link local multicast name resolution, LLMNR, searching for local network computers. The third machine is our Kali, which is a Debian-based Linux operating system. Open the terminal window. If you type ARP and hit Enter, the ARP table entries are displayed in a human-readable format. As you see, systems are listed with a known domain name, such as www.owaspbwa.com by default. ARP-H brings you a small help page. If you want a detailed help page, type man space ARP. In a Debian-based Linux system, dash A parameter of ARP command is used to see the entries in BSD format, which we saw in macOS. Dash I is, again, to see the entries of a single interface. Okay, press Q to quit the man page. ARP dash A displays ARP table entries in BSD format. And use N parameter to see the IP addresses instead of domain names of the systems.